Welcome. I thought it would be important to talk to you a little bit about angles of the face and different posing mistakes that photographers make. Some of them don't realize it, but what happens is the way you pose the body can affect the way the image looks tremendously. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's not knowing specific angles. When you look at a subject's face, you have to look at it as a whole and you need to look at it in thirds. Okay, there's different positions. If you look at me now, I'm completely square to you. This is called a full face image. There's very few people who look good in a full face. You have to remember the majority of people, especially here in the United States, are plus size individuals. So the fuller our face looks, the worse the image is going to look. The second part is realizing how the face is divided up. There are three basic essential parts. Part one is a cheek. Part two is a full face. Part three is the other cheek. Those are thirds. So in almost 80% of my images, I'm looking to form a specific view and look. And that's a two-thirds view. The two-thirds view is going to allow me to light into two parts while keeping the other part in a fairly shadowed look. But there are some basic rules we need to understand about posing and how to detect if we really have the right view. So I'm going to bring in again the very beautiful Miss Jessie Pavlix Cavallone. And what we're going to do is, again, we're looking at her at a full face. So I'm going to come back to the camera here because I want to be able to see exactly what you're seeing at home as Tim focuses on her. So when we look at her now, she's in a full face. So what we're going to do is, Jessie, I want you to turn all the way. Now, if you look, the more she turns, keep going. Now what's happening is she's not in a two-thirds view. She's in an in-between. One of the first rules we want to avoid is making sure that her nose does not cross over the bridge of the cheek. If the nose crosses over the bridge of the cheek, as you can tell, it starts to get fuller and bigger. That doesn't work. This isn't a two-thirds, it's not a full face, and it's not a profile. So what's happening is it looks fuller. So the first rule is do not let the nose cross over the bridge of the cheek. Crucial. Now, according to your camera angle, there's a second and crucial rule that needs to be put into effect. What is that? That rule is the face and the angle of the nose. So if you look and we turn her back, you're going to look. Now, I want you to come down a little bit lower because this will help the camera angle here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring her chin down. Keep coming down, looking down, looking down, looking down, looking down, looking down. Tilt your head a little to the left. Now, if we look, her bridge of her nose is crossing the bridge of her lip. So if you look at what's happening is we've ultimately, ultimately made her face look that much bigger. Her nose looks gigantic. We did not help it. So we need to make sure, number one, the nose doesn't cross the bridge of the cheek, nose doesn't cross the bridge of the lip. Those are two key essential things that you have to know in order to make any subject look good. So let's go over angles of the face. If we turn her head all the way to the window, sit up a little bit straighter for me. We turn her head and her body to the window. This is a profile. The nose, if you take a look, is in a perfect profile. We don't want to see the back eyelid, the back eyelash, eyebrow, whatever it may be. So I'm going to look back from you, and I think we have a perfect angle of the face, and you look perfect. We're set up. This is profile. Now if we turn her body to you, we're going to lean her back, but we're going to lean her forward. We now should have a two-thirds view of the face, and if you look, beautiful, soft, nice image. Now turn your head slightly to the right, tilt your head to your left, actually go to the right a little bit, not so much. We now have a full face with really bad lighting, which is for another video. Now one of the last key things we need to talk about is what we do with body position when posing. As we all know, most photographers teach you to pose with your weight on your back hip. So what happens is the body starts to get very laid back and get full, especially in here. So one of the key things that you need to do with all your posing, no matter what it is, is lean the subject forward. 
By leaning them forward, you're going to stretch them out, make them look younger, make them look thinner. Most of all, you're going to make them look better. So here we go from here. Let's turn her sideways. We're going to keep her weight on her back hip. We're turning her head to her high shoulder. This is called a feminine pose. The feminine pose is tilting the head to the high shoulder. The masculine is to the low shoulder. Okay, so she's in a feminine pose. We're leaning her forward, look at her face, and we're thinning her out. What we're doing is bringing her face closer to the camera while thinning out the body and stretching her out in here. It's that simple. So those are your kind of most important tips that you're going to need to really successful start to shoot different portraits. Number one, don't let the nose cross the bridge of the cheek. Don't let the nose cross the bridge of the lip. And always remember to lean your subjects forward. If you work within those three things, those three parameters, you're going to have a pretty great image. Hope you found this useful.